the fingerprint sensor on smartphones has become quite popular lately. We're seeing them on more and more devices. And most people just use them to unlock the device. However, a lot of these newer fingerprint sensors actually have the ability to detect swipes. Whether you swipe up, down, left, or right on the fingerprint sensor. Now Google has added this feature for devices like the Nexus 6P, I believe the 5X, and the Pixel XL. So for example, if you go into app, the settings, apps and notifications, notifications, there is a toggle here to let you swipe the fingerprint down to expand the notification panel. You can swipe down again to expand the quick settings panel, and you can swipe up when these are down to make those go away. Very simple gestures. Uh, Huawei had this on their phones for a while and Google added it to a couple of theirs. But a lot of people don't want, don't really care to have that swipe down for notification and the quick settings panel so if your fingerprint sensor on your phone supports gestures then you can install this free application called fingerprint swipe like I said it's just a free simple application once you download it go ahead and open it up it needs to have accessibility permissions granted so you're gonna need to tap on this enabled toggle and then just enable the fingerprint swipes toggle there and press back a couple of times to go back to the application and then from here we can set up the actual swipe so we tap on the fingerprint swipes option and we have four options here for up down left and right so say we wanted to replicate what Google has we can tap on down and we can choose the notifications down option or if we don't care about notifications I just want a quicker way to access our quick settings we can enable the notifications quick setting option here so now once that's been set we can swipe down and we instantly get to our quick settings and if you want you can set that to notifications down and it will only bring down your notifications and not the quick settings panel but you can swipe down again for a second time to expand it even further so again to emulate what Google has set up in their software I have added the notifications up option for the swipe up that's why I can get rid of it just by swiping back up on it but there's also a swipe left and a swipe right So you can tap on the swipe right option and we have a number of different actions to choose from if you've ever looked at the Nova launcher shortcuts then this is going to be similar we have a number of things like toggling the torch our notifications back home and recents our last app which is normally a double tap of the recents we can show the power dialog toggle split screen media controls volume controls and rotation lock and even a tasker task or maybe you want to just launch a specific application whenever you swipe across a certain way on the fingerprint sensor and there's even ways to enable specific shortcuts such as a Google Drive shortcut enable driving mode on Google Apps there's a lot that you can play th with here. You can see I set the right to trigger home, so now when I swipe right, it goes home. And we can set left to to show the power dialog box. So whenever I swipe to the left, the power menu comes up. So it's just a nice little free application that gives you a ton of options for adding specific fingerprint swipe gestures on supported devices.